Hi, my name is Janet Minoski smith I have been an Orton Gillingham reading tutor for the past eight years, and I've worked exclusively online for the past four. Today, I'm going to share an app called Kami. Kami is a PDF annotation app that allows you to open and share all those teaching materials you've created, bought, or found in PDF form via a shared link that allows your students to not only look at them when you're meeting with them online, but to write or type on them as well. So before I do that, quickly let me say that I have created a website, teachonereachoneonline.com, which is designed to help Orton Gillingham reading tutors learn how they can teach using multi-sensory methods online. There are a lot of support videos and other material on that site to help tutors uh, learn how to get online or enhance your online tutoring practice. And you'll find the link below. And if you want to be informed of more videos for helping you with your tutoring, make sure that you subscribe and like this video. Okay, so traditionally, many online tutors have shared PDF files through programs like OneNote, and they have been able to share their screen and control through a platform like Zoom. However, with the recent events causing many students to use technology from home, many of them only have access to a school-supplied Google Chromebook, iPad, or other tablet. These devices allow screen sharing, but they don't allow sharing of control through Zoom. So that's what led me on a search to find some options for people who are in that predicament with your students where you wish you could let give your students an option when you're actually working with them to be able to work on things, um, not just create something in advance that they do independently, which you can do um, easily through Google Classroom or Google Slides, but to do that in real time, and especially the writing and the typing on worksheets that you've already created. So let's go ahead and get started. I just have my Google homepage, and by the way, all this would be done through a Google Chrome browser. So if you have a Mac, um, this is all through Google and Chrome, so you want to keep that in mind and not try to use a different browser. Uh, I keep all of my teaching materials on my bookmarks bar so I can reach them quickly even when I'm online. So I'm opening my Google Drive right now. And once you start creating things in Google Docs or Google Slides, it gets saved to your drive. And anything you upload from your computer also gets saved. And I have files. Some of them are courses. Some of them are for students. Some of them are for particular activities. And I have this one file of sample activity pages. So these are all files I've uploaded from my computer. And when you have files on your computer already that you've created or saved that you normally can just use with students to upload them here, you just go to New and File Upload. And then you find the file you want to upload and select Open. And within a few seconds, it's uploaded and right into your Google Drive file. So it's very easy to do. And then let's say I want to work on this particular file with my students. So I would open it. And it just opens in a browser. And right now, there's not an easy way to write or type on it. So if I use my Zoom annotation tools, I could do that. But those are frustrating because if I would go and move my uh, page, the, the writing would stay stuck on the screen and would not go move with the page where you have intended it to be. So that's very frustrating. So up here it says open with, and this is where you would have things uploaded that you would use along with your um, file so that you can actually do that writing and share it with your student. And I already have Kami installed, but the way you would find it through Google Drive, if you go down to Connect More Apps, and once this opens a search box, you can type in Kami, 
and that will bring the Kami app up. It's right here. In my case, it's already installed, but if it's not installed yet, you select it and install it, and then it will be available in this pop-up menu the next time you go to use it. So since I have it installed, I will go ahead and open Kami, and that will open my document right within Kami. And I had previously been writing on this a little bit, so because I didn't erase it, it's still there, so that's something to keep in mind that when you want it to open up for a different student, you can save the student's work for the one that you've already done. But when you have a new student, um, if you want to upload the same document, you need to erase the markings after you've saved the previous students. So this one requires some drawing. So I would select the drawing tool and you can select the uh, stroke thickness and the color. And then, in order for my student to be able to write on it, I need to share this. So I would go up to Share Document and copy it. Now, once, it's once that link is copied, I can email it to my student. Or, at this point, I can start my Zoom meeting and open up the chat and paste it in the chat and send it to the student and that student can click on that link right within their chat. So I'm going to try that and I hope it will work here and I've just quickly start a Zoom meeting. I'll open my chat. Okay, down here is where I could type a message. I'm going to paste that link and hit enter. And then if I had a student connected with me, they could click right on that link and open the chat. So that shows you how quickly and easily you can do that using Zoom. But again, the other alternative is to email the link and they have a few other options for sharing. So once the student clicks on the link, you are not sharing your screen in Zoom. You're not sharing control in Zoom. They are looking at this link on their computer screen and you both are looking at the same link and you're both able to work on the same page. So your student, after you instruct them what to do, they can select a color and they can go ahead and trace these letters and follow the instructions to trace and say the name. And if they happen to have a touch screen then you do have they do have the option to use their finger. I'm using my finger for this one because I do have a touch screen. So that's another option if they happen to have one. But you, but uh, you can also use a mouse, which is what I use for the first two. So that shows you how you can use the drawing tool. And any pages you have, if you were going through, you had a maze they needed to go through dividing syllables, circling things, underlining things, matching, anything that requires that pencil and paper activity type thing you can do with the drawing tool. So let's go ahead now and look at another example that would use the typing tool. I have this um, worksheet that requires some typing. So again, I'm going to open it with Kami. And at the very top, this requires the drawing tool to match the definitions. And I have to learn to clean up my work and not save it this way. But it's easy enough to fix with the eraser if I forget to do that. Okay, so I would use a drawing tool up here, but then I need the uh, text box down here. And I'm just going to erase, get rid of the ones that are already there. You can see that's really easy to do. I hit that little X. And then all I do is click where I want to type the word. And I type the correct form of there. And then when I click off of it, it looks like it's right in the box. And here's another one. My dad 
mom and dad are very proud of their children. So I have tried a lot of PDF annotation tools and this is just one of the easiest ones to type in. So that's one reason I really like it as well. And I recommend it. And by the way, there are there is a paid version of Kami, but everything I'm doing here is in the free version. So if you want some more um, things that and you think it's worth it and you feel you're really going to use this, you can get the paid version and you can look into that. So this particular program, Kami, is helps to work around the issue of not being able to share control when a student has Google Chromebooks. It allows tutors and teachers who are meeting their students online to share all the documents you've already created that you've worked so hard at with your students online and allows them to work with them um, in real time with you whenever you use it. So I hope you find that to be a helpful tool to add to your tutoring toolkit.